Deborah Strobel Fisher born March 1, 1951, is an American politician serving as the senior United States Senator from Nebraska since 2013. Prior to that, she served two terms in the Nebraska legislature, representing a rural district in the Sandhills. She is a member of the Republican Party. Early life, education, and career Fisher was born Deborah Strobel in 1951, in Lincoln, Nebraska, the daughter of Florence M. and Gerald Carl Jerry Strobel. Her father was the state engineer, director of the Nebraska Department of Roads under Governors K. Orr and Ben Nelson and her mother was an elementary school teacher with Lincoln Public Schools. In 1972, she married Bruce Fisher, from Valentine, whom she had met while both attended the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. She and her husband raised three sons on the Fisher family cattle ranch south of Valentine. In 1988, she returned to the university and completed her B.S. degree in education. <laughs> <laughs> Nebraska Legislature 2005 Elections In 2004, Fisher ran for the Nebraska Legislature from the 43rd Legislative District. In the nonpartisan primary, she came in second in a field of seven, receiving 2,226 votes front-runner Kevin T. Cooksley received 2,264 votes in the general election, she defeated Cooksley with 8,178 votes to his 8,050, for a margin of 50.4% to 49.6%. In 2008, she won re election unopposed. Nebraska's term limits law precluded her running for re election in 2012. Tenure Fisher's district was geographically the largest in the Nebraska legislature, comprising 12 counties and part of a 13th. During her tenure in the legislature, she did a weekly radio show on seven stations covering her district, and wrote a weekly column printed in several newspapers. In 2007, she helped to filibuster a bill that created a statewide smoking ban for indoor workplaces and public places. In 2009, Fisher was one of 14 co sponsors of LB 675, which required abortion providers to display ultrasound images of the fetus at least one hour prior to the abortions, in a position where the abortion seeker could easily easily view them. A spokesman for the National Right to Life Committee stated that the Nebraska law was stronger than those of other states, which only required that the client be asked if she wanted to see an ultrasound image. The measure passed by a 40-5 vote, and was signed into law by Governor Dave Heineman. Tenure Fisher's district was geographically the largest in the Nebraska legislature, comprising 12 counties and part of a 13th. During her tenure in the legislature, she did a weekly radio show on seven stations covering her district, and wrote a weekly column printed in several newspapers. In 2007, she helped to filibuster a bill that created a statewide smoking ban for indoor workplaces and public places. In 2009, Fisher was one of 14 co sponsors of LB 675, which required abortion providers to display ultrasound images of the fetus at least one hour prior to the abortions, in a position where the abortion seeker could easily easily view them. A spokesman for the National Right to Life Committee stated that the Nebraska law was stronger than those of other states, which only required that the client be asked if she wanted to see an ultrasound image. The measure passed by a 40-5 vote, and was signed into law by Governor Dave Heineman. U.S. <laughs> Senate 2013 -present <laughs> 2012 election. Primary In January 2012, after incumbent Democratic Senator Ben Nelson announced his retirement, Fisher officially announced she would run for the U.S. Senate. The Republican primary campaign was expected to shape up as a battle between Attorney General John Bruning and State Treasurer Don Stenberg. Fisher and three less well known candidates were also on the ballot. During the primary campaign, Fisher was criticized by environmentalists and others because her family's ranch near Valentine grazed cattle on federal land, leasing it for about $110,000 per year less than the market rate on private land. 
Opponents of federal grazing leases argued that she should relinquish her family's permit if she wants to remain morally consistent with her message of less government. Fisher argued that the poor quality of federal lands, plus the restrictions that come with federal leases, make it inappropriate to compare them to private leases. In the campaign, Fisher was outspent by Bruning, who raised $3.6 million, and Stenberg, who spent $865,000. Fisher's campaign raised only $440,000. However, Bruning and Stenberg spent much of their resources attacking one another. Fisher benefited from the damage that each did to the other's approval ratings. She was also aided by $725,000 in television ads bought by the Club for Growth attacking Bruning. Shortly before the election, she was endorsed by Nebraska U.S. Representative Jeff Fortenberry and by 2008 vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin, who recorded robocalls endorsing her, and a super PAC financed by former Omaha businessman Joe Ricketts paid for $250,000 worth of television advertising promoting Fisher and opposing Bruning. Fisher won the primary election with 40% of the vote. Bruning ranked second with 35%, and Stenberg ranked third with 18%. Fisher took a plurality of votes in 75 of Nebraska's 93 counties. Bruning won 15 counties and Schuyler businessman Pat Flynn received a plurality in his home Colfax County. Fisher and Bruning tied in Kimball and Sioux counties. General election. In the general election, Fisher faced Democrat Bob Kerry, a former Nebraska governor and U.S. Senator, who was running for the seat that he had held from 1989 to 2001. In the course of the campaign, Kerry's advertising accused Fisher of unprincipled conduct in the matter of a 1995 adverse possession suit, whereunder the Fishers had attempted to obtain title to 104 acres 42 hectares of land adjoining their property. The Kerry campaign maintained that Fisher, after losing the lawsuit, had used her position in the legislature to keep the landowners from selling the property to the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission The episode, declared a Kerry website, had shown, "...n neighbor suing neighbor, vindictiveness, pettiness, deceit, abuse of power." Fisher maintained that their intent in filing the suit was to obtain a more manageable boundary for their ranch, after repeated attempts to purchase the land had failed. An Omaha World Herald analysis stated that the Kerry campaign's statements regarding Fisher's actions in the legislature failed to mention her support for a compromise measure that would have allowed NGPC to buy the land. A Fisher spokesman accused Kerry of reckless disregard for the truth and gutter politics. In the matter, in the general election, Fisher defeated Kerry 58% to 42%. Fisher won mainly by swamping Kerry in the state's rural areas. She won 88 of Nebraska's 93 counties. Kerry only won Douglas, Lancaster, Saline, Thurston, and Dakota counties. Fisher became the third female U.S. Senator in Nebraska's history, and the first since 1954. She was the first elected to a full term of the earlier woman senators. Eva Boring was appointed in 1954 to occupy the seat vacated by the death of Dwight Griswold until a special election could be held to replace him later that year. Hazel Abel won that special election to finish Griswold's term, but did not seek a full term. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Positions. In Fisher's 2012 campaign materials, she quoted several politicians and editorials describing her as a «true conservative» and a «staunch conservative». Abortion Fisher describes herself as «proud to be pro-life». She has earned endorsements from Nebraska Right to Life and the Susan B. Anthony List. Environmentalism In her 2012 campaign materials, Fisher declared, "...the EPA must be reformed and possibly eliminated." She stated that current greenhouse gas regulations needed to be made less restrictive, and expressed her opposition to a cap and trade policy. Gun law According to Fisher's 2012 campaign literature, she has "...opposed every attempt effort by groups seeking to restrict our right to own firearms." 
She has an A+ rating from the National Rifle Association (NRA). After the 2016 Orlando nightclub shooting, Fisher stated that any legislative proposals to restrict individuals on the terrorist watch list from buying guns would not stop mass shootings. Fisher believes that preventing self-radicalization is more important than restricting gun access. Topic: <laughs> Healthcare in her 2012 campaign literature, Fisher stated that she would vote to fully repeal Obamacare. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Immigration. While a member of the Nebraska legislature, Fisher voted against the state's version of the Dream Act in its passage in 2006. She co-sponsored a bill to repeal the state act in 2010. topic social issues Fisher's 2012 campaign materials state that she s upports the federal marriage amendment she opposes same sex marriage topic taxes Fisher supports a balanced budget amendment to the U.S. Constitution and has signed Americans for Tax Reform's Taxpayer Protection Pledge promising not to raise taxes on individuals and businesses. She has also declared herself opposed to cuts in entitlement programs for Americans over the age of 40. Term limits In Fisher's 2012 campaign materials, she expressed support for an amendment to the U.S. Constitution limiting senators to two six-year terms, and U.S. representatives to three two-year terms. She pledged to "...limit herself to two terms in office," equivalent to 12 years. She also stated that members of the U.S. Congress should be placed under a lifetime ban from becoming federally registered lobbyists. Committee assignments Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry Subcommittee on Livestock, Marketing, and Agriculture Security Chairwoman. Committee on Armed Services Subcommittee on Emerging Threats and Capabilities Subcommittee on Readiness and Management Support Subcommittee on Strategic Forces Chairwoman. Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation Subcommittee on Aviation Operations, Safety, and Security Subcommittee on Competitiveness, Innovation, and Export Promotion Subcommittee on Consumer Protection, Product Safety, and Insurance Subcommittee on Oceans, Atmosphere, Fisheries, and Coast Guard Subcommittee on Surface Transportation and Merchant Marine Infrastructure, Safety, and Security Chairwoman. Committee on Environment and Public Works Subcommittee on Fisheries, Water, and Wildlife Subcommittee on Transportation and Infrastructure Subcommittee on Water and Wildlife Committee on Rules and Administration Special Committee on Aging Personal life Fisher and her husband Bruce operate the family ranch, Sunny Slope Ranch, near Valentine, Nebraska. Their adult sons Adam, Morgan, and Luke own the majority of the stock in the family corporation, while the elder Fishers retain a minority share. Electoral <inaudible> <inaudible> history <inaudible> 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 See also Women in the United States Senate Topic Further reading Sen Deb Fisher District 43 Biography Nebraska Legislature retrieved the 16th of March 2012 archived from original the 5th of June 2012 Outstanding Lead Alum", Nebraska Lead Alumni Association. Retrieved 19 May 2012